Now we're going to talk about stock dividends. Stock dividends, the same thing is true um, uh, for stock dividends. There's a date of declaration, a date of record, a date of payment. Um, but stock dividends, as opposed to cash dividends, are distributions of shares of stock to stockholders. Okay. So these are now distributions, as I said, all dividends are, but these are distributions of stock um, to stockholders, okay? So the stockholders that you already have, what you're going to do is distribute stock to them, your own stock, instead of cash. And the difference between a cash dividend and a stock dividend, cash dividend, the stockholder actually earns stock, I mean cash. But in a stock dividend, it's a strange sort of circumstance. The stockholder just receives more stock. And the, what, and the stock that they receive, everyone receives the same proportionate share of stock as a stockholder, so it has no overall effect of uh, increasing your, your proportionate wealth, okay? Because everybody has had an increase of the same quantity. So it's a distribution of stock to stockholders. What we consider this to be is in accounting, is this a redistribution of stockholders' equity? So all we do, you're going to see this in a moment, is redistribution of stockholders' equity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move I'm going to move um, I'm going to move values around in the stockholders' equity section, okay? And the total stockholders' equity is going to be exactly the same. I'm just going to move things between categories. That's all that's, that's happening in stockholders' equity. Okay, so let's do, do an example. Um, stockholders' equity accounts of Hendricks as of December 15th are as follows, okay? So I'll give you an example. We have common stock. is $20 par, and there are 2 million shares issued. So that means there's a total of 40 million dollars of common stock. We have APIC for common stock of 9 million and we have retained earnings of 26.6. Okay, so that's our, what our stockholders equity section looks like before we distribute the um, stock dividends. Okay, so before we distribute the stock dividends. But what we're going to do afterwards, let's take a look at what this total is. This total stockholders' equity is 75,600,000. When we're done, this value is going to be 75,600,000. So you're going to see that nothing really changed. We just moved um, values between these categories. What happened physically, though, was our shareholders did receive more stock. However, when we journalized this, what we did was we took out of common stock, okay, this is common stock, out of common stock, uh, we increased common stock but reduced APIC or retained earnings, okay? So on December 15th, Hendricks Corporation declares a stock dividend of 500,000. Okay, so stock dividends are usually uh, described in percentages. The stock dividend is 5% of the total outstanding shares. So 5% of 2 million shares is 100,000, okay? So that's going to be 100,000 shares were distributed to our stockholders. Okay, so 100,000 new shares. So now instead of 40 million shares, we're going to have 40 million 100,000 shares. Okay, so I'll do a before and an after over here. So that you can see that it is just a redistribution 
of stockholders equity. So now this number is going to wind up being 40,100,000 after the stock dividend. Okay, so let's journalize that. So the entry to record the stock dividend, okay, and this is at declaration, is to debit uh, dividends, but this particular type of dividend is a stock dividend, okay? But it looks, the debit is uh, very similar. Oh, hold on. I apologize. I apologize. Uh, no, that's right. There's the shoe. Uh, I forgot to. Uh, this was 100,000 shares. I made a mistake. I apologize. It's not 100,000. I forgot to multiply it by um, its its um, par value. So it's 42 million. Remember that they're worth. Um, where's their par value? Twenty dollars par. So this is at their dollar value, not at the quantity. So there is going to be, I apologize, it's 2,100,000. Do you see? Now there's going to be 2,100,000 shares. This is, let me do the after. There are 2,100,000 shares. I, I added the 100,000 to the dollar value. This is the dollar value. This is the number of shares. Does everybody see what I, what's gone on there? I apologize. Okay. So the stock dividend. The market price of these shares at the time of this distribution was $31 a share. So what we have to do is show the, the market value in some way. So when we debit dividends, we debit it $3,100,000 because we have to use the market value. We basically um, credit stock dividends, sort of like a stock dividends payable, but we're going to call it distributable. But it's the liability basically, just like it was before. And that's two million. And we credit APEC for common stock one million one hundred thousand. And you can see now the redistribution occurring. When the dividend is actually paid, or distributed, it looks like this. Debit, stock, dividends, payable, which is what this is, payable or distributable, same thing. Two million credit common stock two million. Okay, so now let's take a look. We have common stock has increased two million. Our APIC has increased um, by one million one hundred thousand, so it's ten million one hundred thousand. But our retained earnings has been reduced by three million one hundred thousand. So our retained earnings now, because dividends reduce retained earnings, we've reduced 26.631, what is it, 31, 3 million one. 3 million one, five, three, 23, five. This is 23,500,000. Five so our total stockholders' equity still adds to 75,600,000. So what just happened here? What happened here was that when we um, issued the stock to our stockholders, they did receive more stock in the amount of $2 million. Um, APIC did increase by the excess paid over par. But what we did was we took the entire amount of dividend value out of retained earnings. So what you can see is, as I said, that distributing a stock dividend is just a redistribution of stockholders' equity. All it is is a journal entry to us in our corporation. Shareholders feel it as an increase in their shares of stock held. 
but proportionately, everyone who owns the stock has increased the same amount. It's as if water was at, say, underneath your chin level, and all the water rose on everyone in the pool at the same time, and now all the water is up to everyone's eye level. Everybody had the same proportionate increase, so they don't own any more stock percentage-wise in the company than they did before the stock was distributed. Okay, so let me again review. This is a stock dividend. It's a distribution of stock to stockholders. It is not a cash dividend. Cash dividends are distributions of cash. What it turns out to be is just a paper entry for the company. In other words, we make two journal entries and there's a redistribution of, of uh, the amounts in stockholders equity. Stockholders equity is comprised of common stock, APIC, and retained earnings. So what we did was, when we distributed uh, the stock, we showed that we had more stock in distribution. We, the way that we get this number is we have more shares, which are 2 million one, times their par value, which gives us 42 million. We have more APIC because uh, originally we had 9 million. APIC is always the amount paid over par. Our market value was 31, so we have 11 times the 100,000 shares, which gives us an increase of 1,100,000, so our APIC went up by 1,100,000. But when we did all this, we showed that we had a dividend in total of 31 times 100,000, or an increase to this dividends that will reduce our retained earnings when it's closed, of 3,000,001. Therefore, retained earnings went down by 3,000,001. So these two combined went up by 3,000,001. This one went down by 3 million one. Therefore, our total stockholders' equity never changed. Our shareholders do indeed have stock in their hands, but they don't have a proportionately more share uh, distribution of stock than they did compared to other people who own stock in that company. Thank you.